Okay, so it's a little tedious if your player has to walk over each and every pickup that you want to grab. So what we want to add in is going to be a pickup gravity area. Okay, so let's right click on player, add a child node. We're going to look for area 2D. We'll add it in here at the bottom. So all you have to do to make it target pickups is to choose uh, mask 5 here for the pickups layer. And let's turn off uh, layer 1 for where it exists on and make it monitoring only. Okay, so that's our setup. Then we just need in the gravity area to apply it to all objects inside of here that it detects. So I'll right click on gravity area 2D and we'll attach a script class name, of course, gravity area 2D. So let's have a local variable. I'll call it targets and this will be an array of node 2D is fine. On function ready, we want to connect to the signal of this area 2D. So we're going to say area entered dot connect underscore on area entered. And we'll also connect to the area accident underscore on area entered and this is going to give us a area 2d as a parameter so p area area 2d i will say targets dot append p area remember p area area 2d is of type node 2d so that works fine up here there's no need to be more specific than that because uh, we only need to access the node 2d functions so on area exited function underscore on area exited p area area 2d returns void then we're going to say targets dot erase area so let's say function underscore physics process and we'll say for a target in targets we want to translate it across the screen towards the center gravity area point so we need a speed at the top at export var gravity speed is a float if i recall this is going to come out to like pixels per second so i'll try something like 50.0 then we need to calculate the direction between uh the target and our gravity area center point so var direction is going to be equal to target dot global position dot direction to global position okay and then we just need to calculate our move amount so var move is going to be equal to direction times gravity speed uh times delta since we're using translate we need to factor that in directly here for the final move vector we could say this is a vector 2d if that makes it more clear and then we want to take the target and translate it across the screen by the move offset so this is essentially our gravity script right there. The last thing I think we need is to add a collision shape to our gravity area. So right click on the gravity area 2D, add a collision shape 2D, go to the top right, a new circle shape and make this rather large so that we have the area where it's actually gonna apply gravity towards the center. Okay, so I can hit play and we'll go in here and you can see that our objects get sucked towards the center.